Um, today's stream, we're hopping into custom mode because I actually want to try some 2BC gameplay. Um, so to show you all what the 2BC run is going to look like, I actually am going to turn tubes off. So this is assuming that, okay, someone just beat 1P 1BC. Maybe they don't have the 100 cells to dedicate to recycle tubes. So that's, it, it happens. <laughs> So recycle tubes off. I turned S rank all the way down to zero. I also turned plus plus all the way down to zero because like, I don't know how like the percentage works for the forge. So I'm not really gonna worry about it. Four BC plus weapons turned off. Hemorrhage, Thunder Shield, and Sonic Carbine. Mutations turned off. Uh, Berserk, Acceptance, and dead inside all turned off and again i'm calling this 2bc 50 percent plus plus yeah so i'm even weaker i think than that but it's not a, a nuzlocke at least i can like recycle and do all of that stuff but it's been a long time since i've done a uh, 2bc and we get asked questions like all the time, like how to beat 2BC, and I, I don't know what to tell people half the time. So I figure if I at least, there's oven nights in 2BC, really? Wow, okay. Um, if I can at least have a look at 2BC and figure out is it still like super hard am i missing something that the viewers need to know wait there's a lot of monsters in 2bc knife throwers oven knights it's a lot of stuff i just need two things two things is a big number tactic survival of group um i would say Win rate wise, my win rate on what maybe survival is the highest. I think brutality is my most fun. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if tactics is my highest win rate just because I try hard like, really hard when I play tactics because I don't want to ruin the run. All right, so I feel like this right here, this is the first piece of getting like better at 2BC is actually getting this no hit door. Now that's not to say that if you don't get the no hit, you may as well restart. That's not the case here. But I think it's pretty beneficial. Think economy wise. Like I just got a plus plus item that I can take to S. I'm not gonna. I'm actually gonna upgrade my uh, whip just by one. But if you think about economy, it makes a lot of sense that you want to get free stuff. As much free stuff as possible. Free cash, free real estate, free whatever. It's nice because in 2BC, like you don't, you don't have failed experiments. So a wrenching whip can actually kill a rat. Or a scorpion. You almost never get the doors, you choke. Yeah, and again, I don't want people to think that if they miss the door, they should reset. But I definitely think um, it will help to go for the 30. Like, forget about the time door for now. And get that 30. Don't ask what that parry was. Nice! A single green stack. Feels good. As you all can also see, I kill every monster. Even in 2BC, even though the stuff doesn't teleport after me. That's cash. That sells. 
Much appreciated. Fireworks on stream, only possible. Oh my god. I got destroyed. I I think I'm okay in 2BC, except for those bats. Come to find out, bats really hurt. Maybe that's the actual, like, 2BC how to beat video. Stop getting hit by bats. Now, I can barely do that myself, but we take this. Or maybe we take this. No, we don't. Do you have a particular way to approach fights targeting certain monsters over others? I am definitely targeting bats when I see them. Approaching fights, yeah, I am on this map especially. I'm always looking for bats. And then I always look for the scorpions to show up underground. Um, and if there is a scorpion, I kind of like back out of the fight. Oh no, do I not have two more monsters? There's one monster right there. Oh, there's two. Holy crap. I actually need exactly two monsters. Uh, but typically I would try to like fight as close to a purulent zombie as possible. Those are the ones that shoot eggs. Because like you don't want all that stuff stacking on top of you for too long. All right, last thing we're going to get, there is a lore room right here. Maybe this is another 2BC um, strat is you should always try to get these lore rooms because this one gives you food. Like this one is guaranteed food every single time. Look at that. No health pot required. And stuff like that, that might be the health pot that saved your life later in the game. So now we're on the curse map. Very hard difficulty, according to the game. Frantic. I think we take that. Frantic's kind of hard to use in 2BC, but it's going to be stronger than that whip for sure. I got... I think I have to upgrade this. So Concierge drops melee mutation. And I think that means I should use it. Because as a 2BC player, Hopefully you have this. And if not, then you may gotta go kill Concierge a little bit. But we're playing as Rukia right now. Straight out of Bleach. She, she never loses. I don't think I've seen a single episode of Bleach. I'm just gonna end the sentence on that. Alright. I'm gonna ditch the tonic to do this for now. If you got a cherry in the chat, please let us know. Oh. I got scared just then. That's a lot of bats. No, not bats, rats. English hard. This is 2BC. But I think right now, mutation choice was really important. The melee mutation versus a lot of this stuff. Especially these, the sludge, toxic miasma. I think it's a big deal. Oh, and birds. Birds suck. I actually can't believe there's birds on this map in 2BC. That is a poison the enemy phaser. Which is kinda sick. I know some someone asked me about like buying stuff in shops and like how do you know when to buy and when not to buy? I almost always just buy something that looks sick. Like, it's actually... Like, this right here is sick. But I don't want it. But we're thinking long-term. Venture capital investments right now. Where we might get a stiletto. And this build with stiletto is honestly disgusting. Like, not even legal. Stuff all over the map. I am for sure get my money. 
again when we talk about uh, economy and dead cells this is part of it open wounds because like I'm thinking long term long term actually are you allowed to have open wounds in 2BC drops from lacerator says some of the drop rates are really really low for mutations and weapons so yeah the other part about dead cells is just making sure you're having fun like in 2BC if you kind of like hard tunnel on some of the gameplay like that may lead to frustrations and no one wants that oh we're looking for stilettos I don't really want to do this yeah let's wait Wait until the end of the map, because remember, there's free items on the map. So it's probably a good idea that we do that. I nearly beat 2BC this weekend, but failed to beat Hannah King. And that's probably the hardest part. So we're we're definitely going to reach... Well, famous last words. We're definitely going to reach that. Uh, what I mean to say is that that's super important for us to see. To try to understand, like, what does it take to beat 2BC? Maybe it's really build dependent. Maybe, like, 2BC is so hard because, like, you'll have a build that can get through biomes just fine. But maybe versus Hand the King, he kind of laughs it off. So if we can get to that point, it should actually be pretty cool. But I can definitely see that being the number one issue is hand the king and then number two issue is timekeeper a matter of fact i'll go timekeeper for this run just to make sure that i have like the full 2bc experience oh how in the world did i not get hit that was incredible There we go. We finally got another scroll. Wow, we. Uh, been getting used to using shields. Yeah, and this fight coming up is actually a really good fight for learning how to use shields. So let's go ahead and fish for a stiletto. If I don't get it, perfectly fine. If I do, it's awesome. A matter of fact, we may never see Sata Stiletto in this game. Infantry bow. Hmm. Another one. One that poisons the enemy. Alright. Well then. Oh, that's a lower room right there, but we're not gonna go for it because I. No, actually, I think that's, um. I think this one gives you a skill. If it's the. No, it's not. This one gives you two things. So like I said, it's a really good idea to do these lore rooms. You get Cashola. So if you're playing 2BC, but you're playing custom mode, definitely don't turn them off. Look at that, I got $1,000. Again, big part of the economy is just going and getting the money. The money's out there. Just like in real life, the money's out there just waiting for you to take it. Legally. If you can do that, then you're fine. Alright, so, Fire Blast. Powerful Grenade. Um... So, thinking about my build... I don't really want to drop a Fire Blast in here, unless I was, like, gonna change my entire build. But right now, I am, like, I am tunneling on Seda Stiletto. I guess Blood Sword or Balance Blade would be kind of okay. Kinda okay. Blood Sword might be okay. Alright, so like I said, you can learn how to parry on this boss. If you just stand here, the first attack is always that.
And then you just keep yourself nice and sticky. You can also learn to parry the uh, tentacles here. I'd say it's not mandatory to parry these, but it helps, especially if you're using a weapon like this. Gives you bonus damage for doing the parry. Crap. Phaser's really good in this fight, too. You just have to be really careful because you might actually phaser on top of a tentacle. And that would be awful. Staying sticky. Oh, thank you for coming down to me, Conjunk. Wow, what a good friend. What a pal. She actually dropped straight to the floor. Just for me. Uh, we sell everything. Are there spooky roguelikes? Are we gonna play spooky games for October? Um, probably not. But to answer the question about spooky roguelikes... I think I can go graveyard here. Graveyard's kinda... Eh. With this build, but at least I have last ring aura. Um, so I think the only game. And I'm probably not gonna take this. Because if this is like 2BC simulator, I almost wanna say like I shouldn't do a no-hit door. I'm not even gonna get the five hundred dollars for that. Feels bad. That's that's kind of a cool item. I have $30,000. Let's actually upgrade this. Nice. Yeah, this map is no bueno. <laughs> this is gonna suck. You may consider skipping the curse here. If you're feeling a lack of confidence. There's another rat that I didn't notice. Wow, that was a lot of junk. See, now I'm starting to do less damage. It's getting tough, chat. The 2BC. I've been talking smack this whole time. And I feel like 2BC has actually caught up with me. Alright. If I take it easy, we should be fine. I have a shield. I can just parry. Infantry. I can't. Not with this build. Alright, we gotta figure out what we're fighting against. Something slow up here. Slasher below me. I think there's rats up there. Of course, it's great because I cannot see anything. Slasher. And we know there's another slasher, so I'm just gonna wait for it. Probably watch a showcase video? You could. I think you're probably fine without. It's definitely not the most complicated item in the game. It's a pet. The Mushroom Boy is a pet. So... You just let it do its thing, and you'll probably be fine. Alright, again, we are working on economy. 
So I actually have a lot of money here. $30,000. May as well double upgrade. And even though we're really hoping for Seda Stiletto, I am going to look for bonus damage to either Poison or Bleed. But I'm not going to go crazy with it. Slow down target. That's Melee Mutation. Pierce all Shrapnel Axe. Uh, we'll probably have to leave it. Okay. They aren't getting any more money out of me. Wow. Very, very early curse. Alright, we got some enemies. Now, is the curse mandatory for 2 BC? Mm. I mean, I want to say no. But my power level is like pretty decent. And perhaps that wouldn't happen if I didn't get these curses. All right. Uh, while you're cursed, you can always, you know, wait for your skills. You can also parry. Very good way to learn how to parry is while you're cursed. You can't possibly mess it up. Alright, more junk up there. Uh, I play a bit of Sundered. It's great. Progression is slow. What kind of game is this? Is it a Metroidvania? That's why I thought it was, at least. I'm trying to get this out of my way. I'm expecting to run into something dumb. No, no, no. That's why I'm playing a little safe right now. Does this kill? Wow, look at that. Now to get rid of it. Thank you, Cluster Grenade. What a pal. See target selection here. My main target is the uh, the mummy. The little kids are fine for the most part, but you absolutely can't leave that mummy. Knife throwers are a big deal too. Wow! Wait, I still got hit. Kill this. He gives you light. Right now, I feel like the number one issue is cash. Obviously, I have a lot of money right now, but only because I made it a point to have money. Which I think is kind of important. And the other way I want to do 2BC is, like, d the decision-making that someone who's been stuck in 2BC might have. Like, they might have seen, okay, Curse Cluster Grenade. Do I keep the Curse Cluster or not? No, I use the Cluster Grenade to clear my Curse. And, like, I'm hoping that's valuable information. Compared to doing like a fresh save run where I'm just looking for, uh, you know, wolf traps and stuff like that. I'm gonna buy this and set it aside. J 
just in case that ends up being what we use. But ideally, I would like that Sadist Stiletto, if it ever shows up. Ooh, there it is. Yeah, you may be right. Um, I have not actually used a health pot yet, but of course I do have some hours in the game, so... I can take some liberties with my gameplay, assuming that I will not die. Just trying to help people who are... or may be stuck. Just learn some different kinds of gameplay. Different decision making, stuff like that. Yeah, so see, I saved a lot of money. Like, almost all of my money. I just collected, waiting for that Sadist Stiletto to appear. I knew it would show up eventually. That's not streamer luck. Oh, I thought I could actually kill it. Uh, we'll take that. But we're trying our best to at least answer questions or like point out like, oh, I think what I'm doing right here is exactly what the 2BC player needed. So like I got a build made for Sata Stiletto and I saved a lot of my money specifically to get a Sata Stiletto. And now I'm going to spend a little bit of my money to try to get bonus to poison or bonus to bleed. And there it is. And now with that excess money, like maybe I make this an S. I'm not going to touch this because it has the poison. Um, I could do one reroll here to try to get bonus damage to bleed. Don't have to do a lot. Okay, we got the poison. So that worked out. And almost all of this build was built off of that phaser. Like, as soon as I saw the phaser with the poison, the enemy, I knew that's what I wanted to run. But say the stiletto. Ooh, thank you, game. Hey, look at that. Plus one health blast. Would Carbine be good with Sadist? It is, but... Shields are also very good against Timekeeper. Uh, being able to parry her shuriken is like top notch i would sacrifice an alchemic carbine just to parry the shuriken see how sticky you can be Oh my god, I actually... I actually got hit by that. That's fine. Whatever. She she earned that one. I'm not gonna say anything. She deserved it. Um, is it normal to kill a giant on 1BC? I would say as soon as you can go to giant, go for it. Uh, but there's still items that you need to get from Timekeeper. Like, absolutely. She drops a lot of good mutations. Hypey Castle, no matter what difficulty you're on, is like a terrible map. Why am I playing 4BC? Uh, 2BC? I actually should have done an exclamation point 2BC. We're already super late in the run, um, so I'll just explain again. We're playing 2BC because... We get a lot of questions about 2DC, and I'd like to be, you know, an informed citizen. I'd like to be able to answer about 2DC and kind of show, okay, what made the difference? What turned this run from a failure into a hashtag winnable? That's the goal. 
A lot of people forget that the mutations we have in 4BC Plus almost make it like an entirely different game. Like, it, it's not, but some of the stuff in those difficulties almost trivialize the lower difficulties. Take Berserk, for example. If I got Berserk Mutation, I could face tank probably every monster. But I do not have that because I'm a 2BC player. You gonna shoot me? I see you there. Oh, I see you too. Is anyone gonna do anything? Are we chilling? What's up? I can do that too. Oh, you too? Okay. I see you. No, 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 no. What's that damage? We're dead. Yeah, but see how the power level... And I didn't get this stiletto from a 60-door... This is a stiletto I bought in a shop. And it's able to, like, mow down an elite because I have melee mutation. And I feel like those are the kind of decisions that gave us the win in 2BC. Vengeance is always unlocked. Okay. That is... That's special. Perhaps people who do struggle with Hand of the King, Vengeance may be a very big help to that. Oh, this is money, right? Again, another 2BC tip. If you're struggling with food, if you're struggling with money, do the lore rooms every time. Vengeance was a timekeeper drop, but they buffed it? I say buffed because, like, actually giving you vengeance that's wild uh you must begin some to be players mad by destroying it i might get destroyed right here but i'm trying to make it a point not to by saving money and using money to get vengeance um and i'm gonna assume okay maybe the player doesn't have soldier soldier drops from oven nights I'm going to go for combo. Believe it or not, combo does work in this fight at least a little while. So it's kind of a good idea to, you know, look at it. All right, so final boss, Handu King. Uh, for those who, again, you're playing 2BC, Handu King by far the hardest monster in 2BC. Like right next to Timekeeper. So what you're trying to do is you want to live and you want to do damage <laughs> don't drink this fight i i will absolutely try um so what we're using here we're using open wounds because that is like part of the build that's what makes the build kind of tick um if we didn't have open wounds we still have phaser that applies poison so that open wounds might get replaced by like soldier resistance or something else Vengeance is always unlocked. Vengeance gives you damage reduction if he actually does hit you. And then combo is going to work in between the bosses. Like the phase change, that's when you actually get the combo. Hey Finn, do I remember you? Yeah, I remember most of my viewers. Do some parries here. Send that right back to him. Oh no! I actually went to press triangle for the parry, but I screwed it up. But look at this. The elites? Elites can't do anything about this. Even if I get hit? Matter of fact, I could have probably done this without dodge roll. Clear that out. Yeah, let's give him some hits. I just don't want to go into spikes.
So as you see, like the damage when you have vengeance is pretty low. And vengeance itself, so vengeance gives you 60% damage reduction. 60% is a really big number. And that number, oh you all, it's it's up there. And that number doesn't change no matter what color you are. You could be purple or green. You can still use Vengeance, especially if you're playing Survival. Like, Vengeance and Survival is nasty. I don't think Hand the King can really do anything about that. No! Let me in! Five boss cells? Huh. Multiple things lined up to that. So the first one was not blowing a lot of cash. I actually made sure to keep as much money as possible. The second one was we found a phaser. Like we found one link pin of a build, which was a phaser that applied poison. And I said, okay, I got this. We will eventually get a Sadist Stiletto. And if I do that, that's going to carry me throughout the entire game. And it did. If I didn't find that phaser, I probably would have taken one of the early throwing knives that I saw and turned this into like a fake tactics build and would have been okay with that too. Again, big thank you to everyone checking out this fake 2BC guide. It's not really a 2BC guide, it's just, hey, let's talk about what it takes to get through 2BC.